Okay. Hi, Faye. Hello. I am just waiting for um, you to let me know if we're streaming to Facebook or what's going on. Yeah, it we're, says, streaming, we're streaming to my timeline, so why don't you share it to yours? It says Facebook chat right here. Yes. You can click on that and then share it to your timeline. Uh huh. We are double talking. Yeah, that's because of the video. You have to mute the video. Well, tell everybody what's going on. Well, we've taken off this last week and we had some webinar updates and I no longer have to use my little phone to um, put you on Facebook, but it will go to Facebook automatically now and you can watch us on Facebook. You can watch us on the webinar and after it's over, then we will um, post it to the YouTube channel so that if you would like to share it, you can. Um, but I am not sure. So we're on here right now just to do a little test. We'll be on here tomorrow with Live Talk with Faye. Let me go ahead and show you the screen. Hold on. Okay, there. We'll be on here tomorrow. This is our new magazine, uh, Faith Unlimited, for the month of November. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, go to our timeline and see it or go to our website, www.billhanshuministries.com. Uh, Is that dot correct? Org. Dot dot org. org. Dot org. We no longer have any dot coms. Okay. BillHanshuMinistries.org, and you can see all of our magazines there, but this is our one for this month, November. And also you can go to Amazon.com and you can buy the magazine on there. Um, and we'll be talking tomorrow. We're just going to give you a word of encouragement. We're going to uh, start off with Ephesians 1, 4 to 5. Doesn't mean we'll stay there, but uh, we'll start off with that. So if you can join us, if you can tell some people about it, then um, you go ahead and do that. Now, when I came back online, was my voice there? There's no more disruptions of voice. No more disruptions. What an awesome update. Okay. And now I'm wanting to know about my Facebook friends on my, um, it says Facebook chat right here. Yeah. So, Faye, what you got to do is go to my timeline and share it to your page. I tagged you in it, but. Uh, I have to go to yours. Yeah. It's always going to stream to mine because I'm the webinar administrator which means I do all the work. Okay, so <laughs> that means that, okay, I share it here. Just a test. We will, I'll post that as just a test so people can see what we're doing. There you okay, are. Okay, there it is. And then I can, can you still see me on the web while I'm doing all of this? Absolutely. Okay. I was concerned about that too. Yeah, no, that's not going to change anything. And that other little Facebook chat there on the, the webinar, that just uh -huh. pulls something up, but you have to immediately, yeah, you immediately have to mute it. And I don't see how to mute it. But anyway. Well, let just me just a, try it one more time because that'll get people's comments to come here so we can see them. As long okay. as you can mute it, I don't see a problem with it. We can both watch. You can move it over to another screen. But, you know, <laughs> isn't that cool? Okay. On the picture up there, Dr. Bill, right there at the bottom of the right-hand corner, it has a little picture of a microphone. You see that? Yeah, not on mine. Probably because I'm the administrator, but no, it has nothing to do with that. It's on the Facebook. When you pull up Facebook chat on the picture, if you go to the bottom of the picture, it says click for more and over to the right, it'll have those HD and then the um, I got it. Okay, there's where you turn the Facebook off, but it I had was to still... make it larger, but what? I got it. I had to make the screen larger, but I found it. Okay. Yeah, cool. And you can see comments right there. And um, 
Of course, it's streamed to me, so I'm not sure how that's all going to work out. But what we want everybody to do is register. And this is our new system streaming directly to Facebook. How cool is that? Well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Here's a chat. It's not allowing me to post anything there. Um. I just did a post. And how did you do it? Well, you know, the Facebook Live button you pulled up and you got that other screen. There's a comment place right there. I'm talking about on the chat room, in the chat room. Oh, in our chat. No, you won't have any of that until we actually have a scheduled program. This is not a scheduled program. All of our broadcasts are scheduled, but this now allows us to do uh, unscheduled uh, broadcasts. So when you come up here tomorrow, you're going to have a whole new way to get it. Once you're in this place, you're going to see some other ways to actually select the date. Remember, you select the date of your show and all that. That'll provide a chat room, I think. So it's very different. But how cool. You see that screen on Facebook? It's okay. no longer that little narrow thing. And we actually have a couple of people watching. Okay, so I posted all the links for all of our shows. Um, right here is the Live Talk with Faye link, the uh, Campus Chat, which is Mondays at 2 o'clock, Take Another Look, which is Wednesdays at 10, Rightly Dividing Truth, which is Thursdays at 10, mm -hmm. um, Kingdom Dynamics with Dr. Bill's guests our Thursday night at 6 p.m., Friday morning conversations will be at Friday at 10 a.m. And then School of Ministries Friday at 1 p.m. And that's all of our shows that we have on right now. And where did you post that at? On the Facebook where everybody is. Okay. Yeah. So it's on your timeline, in other words. Um, it's on the, yeah, it should be. I posted it on this live Facebook um chat oh deal. i see yeah yeah because i'm looking for it um hello adil we see that you are are watching us right now this is just a test it's not our live broadcast but we will have one tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock our time and if you're in pakistan that will be at 9 p.m your time if you're in India, it will be at 9.30 p.m. Hello, Brother Timothy Miller, Dr. Timothy, um, Bishop Timothy, whichever one I'm supposed to call you. It's good to see you on here. And we're just testing this because we had some updates go on this last week. So we took the week off and got the updates done. And we just are running a little test. We're hoping that it goes directly to Facebook. Now I don't have to oh, yeah. use my phone to... Uh, help it to go to Facebook. It's just an automatic thing, which is hopefully will be a lot better. And uh, yes, the yeah. only thing I'll have to do different, we no longer stream to YouTube. And so what happens is, is we have to download these videos after the broadcast and then we will be able to, um, you know, we'll be able to do it then. So, yes. God bless you too, Adil. And we're just kind of hanging out on here for a few minutes to let people get on and, and see the look of the new webinar um, with the Facebook automatically in here and letting people see what it's going to look like tomorrow and from now on. Yes. It'll be so much easier when Dr. Bill's doing his broadcast. I won't have to um, live stream it from my office on my phone. It'll automatically go to Facebook from the system. So it and won't Faye, have all the stuff on my desk showing what we Dr. were looking for. We were looking for a better presentation also. And this is so beautiful. And so clear. And like I said, the only difference is we're not streaming to YouTube. I will have to download the videos and upload them to our YouTube channel for to archive them. But isn't this great? It's great. Yes. 
And when I have work that I've got to do and you're doing your broadcast, it won't yeah. interfere at all. Before, I know when I was typing, people could hear me typing in the background or yeah. they could uh, see me changing slides sometimes that would go over the webinar slide. That won't happen anymore. So this this is wonderful. I, I really appreciate the Webinar Jam system updating their system and making and, these changes and i'm not sure what good the whiteboard will be because we actually can draw on it yes. but we now have a whiteboard when i click on that does it uh, come up yes it sure does all right and so can you see so, me writing well just write hello or some or go ahead can you see me yeah we heart you we love you amen Let's Just see if like I that, can, huh? let's see if I can write a little a little bit on there. I wanted to write on yours, but it gave me a new one. Oh, there's a transparency slider. Did you see that? Hang on, whiteboard. Okay, how do you write? You have to go up there and click the pencil in the left upper corner. I bet we could play, play tic tac toe on it. It's a little harder to do that way. Now you see the T over there. I don't know if that's a type. Oh, that's a text. Oh, you can text. Awesome. And on the Facebook stream, Faye, that's totally large. <laughs> and look at this transparency slider up there. I have no idea what that's for, but it's something we'll learn about. You can also click on the text button, the T. See that? Yeah. And I imagine that is, what, that is awesome. And the text button allows us to text, I guess. But, but one thing about it, when you go back to your Facebook chat, you have to automatically uh, go to that little deal and turn your volume off or else you'll have a double volume. Oh, yes, yes. And Faye, uh, also do a screen share one more time, just because for the new people that's joined us and because um, you don't have to do it, stop your voice like we did okay. before. Okay. Well, the, the screen share that I'm going to show you now is for tomorrow's show. And, just and keep there talking. it is right there with me and Dr. Bill. And as you can see, I've got my hair cut. Uh, that was kind of an accident. I fell down <laughs> and I was going to go get my hair washed because I wasn't able to stand on my foot long enough. And she says, do you want it cut? And I said, well, you can just trim it a little bit. Well, she trimmed it and got it crooked and then we went back and she got it crooked again. So I went someplace else and this is what I ended up with. So I hope it looks OK. But this is our new uh, uh, November uh, Faith Unlimited magazine. If you haven't seen it yet, go to www.billhanshuministries.org or to our Facebook and you can go to facebook.com forward slash Faith Unlimited and come up with that. And tomorrow and it's, we're it's already on our website. Yes. So you can see it there. And it's already in print if you go to Amazon.com. Amazon Yes, you can see it. And I'm going to flip off of here and keep talking. And yeah. I'm okay. It didn't okay. miss a beat. It didn't All right. miss a beat. All right. Well, tomorrow we're going to be talking. We're going to be giving you a word of encouragement from Ephesians 1, 4, and 5. And just see how it goes this first day. And I'm going to flip on the Facebook chat to see if anybody said anything. And, and I'll have to really quickly now, I'll have to turn the voice off. So here I go. And right there, I will click and see. I can't get it done quick enough to not have any words, but. Faye, I didn't hear it, and I don't know if anybody else can either. Okay. Now, Faye, um, listen, to, can you hear this? Can, could you hear yourself? No. All right. So the Facebook chat, only the person who clicks it on is going to be able to hear it. So we will not be able to hear it for our, hey, our broadcast. We'll hear it. Hey. Bishop Timothy Miller said, hello, Dr. Bill. We have been preaching to a packed house. Praise yeah. God. That's awesome. wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think when you was down there last time, you prophesied that it wouldn't be 
what six months or something and their house would be full and it is it, now yeah, full. Within six months, we thank yeah. God for that and we praise God for the words he gives us. Uh, that's a word of encouragement. You gave them a word of encouragement to keep going on. Their house would be full and it is. So we just praise God for that. Yes, for sure. I think I actually turned you off and I did or the screen off the Facebook screen or I did something well all you have to do is click on that little chat room and you'll get it back yeah we're, we're good okay okay <laughs> well so, I, cool, I think cool new upgrade isn't it it's a cool upgrade um, one that was much needed and I sure do appreciate it because it makes things a lot easier and a lot more convenient to run. And that's, I'm right. sure what the system people want to uh, make it also. So don't forget tomorrow is live talk with Bay, and it'll be at 10 o'clock um, right. central time. Let me let me look here and see. I can't see those updates now. I can put them here. Okay, live talk with Bay at Monday at 10 o'clock. WBS campus chat with Dr. Bill and Faye Monday at 2 p.m. So we have two on Monday. We don't have any on Tuesday. But then on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m., Dr. Bill has taken another look. That's on the book of Revelation. On Thursday morning at 10 a.m., he has a class called Rightly Dividing Truth. Then on Thursday evenings, he comes on with a guest, and that's the Kingdom Dynamics broadcast. Right. And then, and then on Friday, he has a new one, pretty new uh, show. It's called Friday Morning Conversations. And he may or may not have a guest on that one uh, when he has it. It's Friday morning at 10 a.m. And then School of Ministry is Friday at 1 p.m. And for all of you out there that want to be involved in ministry, this is a very good class because there's a lot of uh, different subjects that ministers need to know that he talks about on this class. So, um, young <laughs> ministers, you need to get in and just listen to this. You know, Faye, when it comes to uh, ministerial things or general Christian teachings, I lean pretty heavy in the school of ministry because I often do speak to ministers. When it comes to revelation, like uh, subjects pertaining to the book of Revelation, uh, you know, I teach those, uh, but I'm not trying to I'm not trying to lean heavy, but I am leaning heavily on truth. And I don't teach the book of Revelation like anybody else I've ever heard. It's not that doesn't make me special. It's just that I've had an encounter with God. God has shown me some things and I've now taught half of the book of Revelation, oh, a little over half the book of Revelation in our Wednesday night Bible study. I wish I could go back and start from the beginning. But I'm also teaching it a second time online and take another look. And I'd love to teach that over again. But just so many things I'm learning. Right. Um, uh, Bishop <laughs> Timothy made a note that he wants to come on my show and do a teaching on this generation and in inner city. We'll be glad to have you do that. We'll get it scheduled. Uh, I also have uh, Brother Ernest Nanor from um, Ghana that wants to come on with me, but he is working on getting his computer updated. Now, do uh, Dr. Bill, tell us what is it that makes a good broadcast? How many, whatever on the Internet, okay. what do you have to have and all that? In the past, we have broadcast with 20 meg. But the, so 20 or 30 meg is acceptable to be on one of our shows. But here's the key. You've got to be hardwired. You cannot use a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, another key is you've got to use a headset. OK, so so bright lights in front of you like I have. Uh, the reflection here is good because I have lights right above me in two places. Uh, not only are there lights on our webcams, but there's lights back here. So that's important. Being hardwired to your in your computer, to your Internet is extremely important. And uh, earbuds with a microphone, you can buy these for five to ten dollars anywhere. I'm using Duracell. You're using, uh, I think, a Duracell brand. Uh, but but the, it, you can go to Dollar General. And I want to tell you, if you take care of those headsets, they are extremely good enough. But here's the key. 
you've got to be hardwired to a computer and at least at least 20 meg we're willing to test with that we use 75 meg and we're always streaming more than 80 meg of internet but uh and they're not megs it's mbph or something like that but but we call them megs that's the generic name but it's got to at least be 20 or 30 megs got to be for it to work yes and um you have to be close to where it's all connected to don't yeah you? Well, yeah. well, if you're hardwired, meaning an Ethernet cable, you can yes. do that with a laptop or any device. You cannot use a, a tablet or a smartphone, not even a, a iPhone. You cannot use any of those. Uh, I just got a whole new list of rules with this upgrade, and those are some of the things. You've got to be on Google Chrome. You've got to accept the extension. That's a must. Uh, all of that. So, yes. you know, a lot of people like Safari or they like uh, – um, 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 uh, what's a Mozilla and things, but you've got to be on Google Chrome. And, um, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know get, if I could pull up the list of requirements. I just saw it here. Get um, on Google Chrome, accept the extension, make sure you have a headset, make yeah. sure before the day of, I require at least the day before for everybody to come on my show and just test it. And yes. that way we'll know, you know, we'll know if where you're setting, where you've got your computer and everything, if it's working good. And you can see Dr. Bill and I are on here now. It's a good connection. Um, I believe we're coming through just fine. And this is yeah. how we want it on our shows. We want people to be able to hear what you have to say. You study and you have valuable words to give to the people and we want them to be able to hear you clearly. So that's family, why it's very important. Yes, Dr. I have a list of basic requirements for webinars, a laptop or a desktop with at least a quad core processor and at least two gigahertz. I know that's Greek to a lot of people, but some people that understand computers will know that. Not recommended. Tablets, phones, Chromebook, Surface, that's another type of book. Uh, these will are not powerful enough to handle webinar jam streaming. Uh, broadband connection to an internet, a wired connection with a consistent speed, meaning that they don't want the speed going up and down. Uh, wireless is not recommended. Uh, hotspots are not recommended. Public Wi-Fi is not recommended. Uh, what they do need is on your RAM, at least eight gigabytes and use a, a USB webcam and microphone or built in webcam is acceptable. So those are just some basic requirements uh, just for what we do. Now, that is just if you're going to be on our broadcast as a speaker. If exactly. you want to get on there just to listen to the broadcast. I've done that from my phone, from my tablet, exactly. from anything. You can get on there and just listen. But to be a speaker on our show, then that's the requirements you have to have. Yeah, so it, it is a little more, uh, you know, we do have other requirements, Faye. We do not let people come on and, and uh, ask for money. Um, um, we, we, we really are quite professional. These are teachings that reach the world. We're trying to bless every a caliber of people out there. It doesn't matter what country you come from, what your economic situation is. We're trying to bless people, encourage them and pump them up in the word of God to let them know, look, everything well, really is going to be okay. Yes. And that is, that is true for all of your shows on my show. Sometimes I will encourage people if they would like to give, for instance, I have a, um, a few orphanages that I'm working with and Tomorrow, I will be showing some of those on here. Uh, we are really, really trying to get some help for Christmas um, for some of these orphanages. We did get one registered. I actually gave the orphanage a new name. It's called Tree of Life Orphanage. It's in Uganda. And I actually got to talk to the children on Skype the other day. And from the pictures they sent me, I picked out those children uh, when I was talking to them and then one of them I didn't see and I said, where is Daisy? And they brought Daisy up to me and, and she's only a three year old little girl and I just, I just love her to pieces and I love all of them, but I just, her little hair is just in little braids and it's just so cute. I just wanted to see her so bad. So they brought her up and let me talk to her. So I will be showing some of these asking you to pray and if 
if you right. have any leading to to help some of these orphanages, I would so much appreciate it. And uh, I know they would appreciate it. They they would love to have some support this Christmas because a lot of those children don't have anything extra at Christmas time like the children in the United States do. So we will be doing that. If you know of people in the United States, um, orphanages that are here that need help, you know, let me know. I, I will also work with those. It's not that I just want to work with international people, but I love my international countries and nations and I do want to help them. There's a lot of help in the United States that, that people get from government that the other countries can't get from government help. And because of that, is one of the reasons that I try to share and help these orphanages over there. So um, I will be doing that tomorrow also on my show. Mm -hmm. I yeah. see Francis Hammers from California has joined and Pamela has joined. Go Hill, Pamela Go Hill. Hello there, ladies. It's good to have you on here today. We are just on here just testing this because we had some um, updates last week. We got the updates all made. and We wanted to see how the broadcast would do before my show tomorrow. Dr. Bill will be my guest tomorrow and we'll be giving a word of encouragement from Ephesians 1, 3, and 4, and we'll just take off from there. But we just wanted to make sure it worked. Now, uh, when I'm when we're broadcasting, it automatically goes to Facebook also. I don't have to sit in my office and stream it from my little phone. Here is what I used to stream it from. I put it on this little stand here and um, pointed it at our computer, and I'd stream it from there. But anytime I typed in the background, it made a bad noise. So we don't have to do that anymore. So we're just very excited about these updates and very excited about having our first show tomorrow. And remember, we have a show tomorrow morning and at two o'clock we have campus chat. And we are very excited about that. The money is growing. It's not growing very fast. We would love to see it grow by the thousands so that we can find a building. We don't want to wait another 20 years to get a building. But we just we know God's in this. We know God. This is what God wants. So we are persistent with mm -hmm. staying on God's plan. Anything else, Dr. Bill? No, I think that's about it. We've, uh, you know, we've let everybody know that. Yeah, you know, yeah. Here's the big thing, everybody. You, it's important that if you were registered before, register. Uh, if you were not registered before, go ahead and register. We've po both posted all the links to all of our shows where you can click on there. You can register, and when you do. When it's time for our show and it's that exact time and we go live, you'll be in the chat room and it'll be just like you're there. We I do ask right. you in the chat room to encourage one another to share scriptures about what we're talking about. We do ask you to not go in there and say uh, we're poor and we need money and you know, make it about the show. Make yourself a participant in what we're doing and just be an encouragement to someone else that's on there because we do right. get prayer requests and things. And, you know, if you have a need, say you have a need and somebody on there will pray for you, uh, something that we may or may not be able to do during the show. But, you know, uh, it, it's really a chat room, a community of, of conversation and encouragement. Yes. So yeah. it, it's a really neat thing. So please register. And we'll post those links again today, I'm sure. Well, I'm very excited about our show tomorrow. So um, we will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Time. Of course, if you're in California, like Miss Francis is, you have to get up at 8 to watch us then. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure with children that you'll probably be up by then. Yeah. Um, if you're in Pakistan, it will be at 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. If you're in India, it will be at 930 tomorrow evening. So um, this is this is cool. When we see people from all over the world watching our show, I just just makes my heart get bigger and, and more love just flows out to all of you because I love all, all of you in all the nations. God made all of us and we are all his children. Amen. Right. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see everybody tomorrow.
Okay, God bless all of you. Have a good rest of the day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow on Live Talk with Faye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.